Hi, it's Megan. So I was recently on Melt Cosmetics website, and they had 25% off the site. Um, I've done reviews of some of their other lipsticks before, and I don't know, I just found myself with some new lipstick. That happens, right? So in this video, I've got two shades. I've got Dark Room, which is on my lips right now, and I've got 6x6. And then I will put a link to the video description, the video reviews for the other lip shades that I've done, one of which I'm shooting at the same time as I'm shooting this one, so who knows which one will end up going up first. Um, so there should be three reviews total. This is a company that is cruelty-free and vegan. It was started by two makeup artists, Laura Arledo, who's now, she was a MAC makeup artist, she's now uh, Rihanna's makeup artist, and Dana Bomar who's a makeup artist as well, and they have lipstick, and they have some eyeshadows. And what I like about the lipsticks, I love matte lipsticks, and I love these super pigmented, rich, opaque matte lipsticks. Um, these are the two, these two shades are actually some of my favorite shades. I found that they do vary a little bit, um, the best of them, they kind of fade down into this really beautiful finish, which I just, I love. I think it's beautiful. The downside is it's a stiffer texture, a uh, heavier texture. It is fully opaque. A lot of times when you get these super pigment rich colors, be it in eyeshadows or in lip colors, it's a little bit, it's a stiffer formula. The pigments aren't as soft as the fillers, just the way it works. So you either love this kind of a formula, that stiff thing with that opaque texture, or you, you probably hate it if you don't love it. I like it. The one thing that I do have to be really careful with is normally I just have this habit of like, you know, spreading my lipstick like that. That's a disaster with these. Um, it just kind of makes the edges rough looking, and it's really hard to fix unless you have the right lip pencil and what I've read with the two shades I'm trying on in this video is a lot of people who have these they like using those really dark lip liners or even eyeliners to kind of blacken them even more but I just I think they're gorgeous by themselves so this one right here is dark room and according to the website it's a beet colored crushed velvet curtains moody candlelight their love story began in this dark room um, did I get that right? Oh. Anyway, one can only hope, you know, I take these notes and then I just hope I don't mess it up. So what do I think about this shade? Um, I think the description is actually really good. Let me just, uh, do a swatch. So Dark Room is a newer shade by the brand. So you got, oh, actually this is an interesting point. The old cases look like this with the uh, lip on it. The new ones are just all black. I don't have a preference. And then the casing is just a really sleek, slick black. And this right here is Dark Room. And you can see it goes on, I don't know, I feel like these kind of soften the more you use them. I feel like the first couple times I use them they're a little bit stiffer. But you can see it definitely does look like a crushed velvet curtain, beet, uh, beet color, very, very rich. You can see kind of a little, I can see a little bit of purple in it. See a little bit of brown, a little bit of black, uh, as opposed to it being more of a red shade. And I just like, I like the blackened look on the lips. It does have a crushed velvet look, which I think is beautiful. Um, and these wear well. Um, some shades I found wear better than others. And these wear flawlessly, I would say, about close to three hours. The one caveat I would say is that with the pigmented colors like this and the stiffness of the formula, you have to be really careful to dry right on the inner lips. And I have to use a Kleenex, something that really, like, really dries. Um, and then if I see fading or whatever else, I see it right in here. The rest of the lips actually do wear well. They're also can be drying. A lot of people will write that when they review these, that they can be very drying, so they have to exfoliate first, sometimes put a balm on. I don't have dry lips, and I personally don't have that problem, but I would still recommend it. Now, I'm going to put the other one on, on camera. Anytime 
I do one of these reddish shades. It always kind of gets all over my face. I do get some staining with these. And every time I use these types of colors, I'll wear them on my arm right here for a couple days and see what happens. And these lasted about two days. I still shower. I just don't apply soap to it. But they lasted that long. Anytime I talk, that dry spot's going to go away. So the next one is 6x6. Six six. And I like to put these on on camera so you can see how it applies. You'll see how stiff it is. The good thing about the stiffer formula is you can really line your lips. With a softer lipstick, it's going to break if you try that. But because it is so stiff and opaque, you have to also have to be really careful to line your lips and to get kind of just slightly out of the lip line, or you could draw on a lip that isn't even yours. It's just totally wrong. See what I mean about that inner part? So the only way they describe this on the site, it won't be a perfect application. You can see it takes some work on my end. They call this Welcome to the Dark Side. And it is just a really beautiful kind of brown undertoned with a black kick undertone, red, um, more like a wine red, right? It's got just a tiny tint of purple in it. And so I do get some slight staining. I do have to be really careful applying it perfectly, which I did not do, but I have to be really careful. The thing about, I like these types of really dark lip colors. The thing about them is that there are kind of two caveats. First of all, a lot of them don't execute that well. The thing about a really stiff, opaque formula like this is that once it's on, it really isn't going to bleed. It's not going to bunch up on your lips. It's really going to stay. And I've tried so many of these types of shades, and they just wear horribly. And anything that's super different from your natural lip is going to show when it's not wearing because it's so different. I love this shade. I think it's gorgeous. But the other thing is you have to be really careful with your cheeks. I mean, I probably have the wrong color eyeshadow on. I was just doing other videos and I figured why not, but you need to do a strong cheek with this. And very often one that really matches the undertones of this. Right now I actually have a bronzer on. Um, and that's better than most. Um, but I would actually, it would, this would actually look a lot prettier with a real plum uh, undertone blush. And uh, the eyes actually don't matter that much. You can either go for like a nude eye or you can go for something with a lot of black eyeliner. Although I actually don't think this looks that bad. So anyway, these are them. Uh, you either love or hate the formula. This particular shade I actually just, I really love. So anyway, thanks for watching and that's all I've got to say. Bye-bye.